Round four of the Betford Championship sees Trinity take on the Oak Knights for the second time this season. We're at the here LNER Stadium. And when the two sides met in the 1895 Trophy Group stages, Trinity were convincing 40 points to four winners. And Lachlan Warms, the hat-trick, was a highlight, but it was a confident team performance. But this afternoon there's no Jay Pitts, no Renault for Tony, no Ollie Pat, or Liam Hood, all injured in last week's victory away at Doncaster. But Liam Kay returns to the squad. He'll appear from the dugout, his first appearance of the season. So it's Max Joyce at fullback for Trinity. Three-quarter line of Darrell Alford, Ian Thornley. Jack Croft comes in for Ollie Pratt and Lachlan Warms. The half-backs, Luke Gale and Mason Leno. And in the pack, it's Josh Bodum, Tommy Doyle, Kai Rodwell, his first start, Matty Ashurst, Josh Griffin and Matthew Kosa. Harvey Smith in on the bench, along with Liam Kay, Isaiah Vangana and Caleb Uela. For the York Knights, Joe Brown's at full-back, AJ Towes, Miles Harrison, Connor Bailey and the former Trinity man Tom Lynham in the three quarters. Atta Hingano, the Tongan at half-back with Josh Daly. And in the pack it's Akuma Tai, Will Job, Jacob Gannon on loan for all season from Lee. Holly Fields, son of the academy coach at Trinity, Jamie Field, Harvey Reynolds and the veteran Jordan Thompson at loose forward. The bench for Handy Henderson's side, Taylor Pemberton, Connor Fitzsimmons, Jack Teamby and Bradley Wall. This afternoon's referees, Tom Grant, and thank you for joining me, TC, and cameraman Andy Davis. Can, Tr can Trinity continue their winning start to the Bedford Championship? Three from three, can they make it four from four? The next 80 minutes will answer that question. Max Joy prepares for the, uh, the kick-off. Blast on the referee's whistle, Tom Grant. And here we go. That's gone straight out on the full, has it? It has, so that's going to be a penalty to York on the centre spot. Worst possible start for Trinity. Swirling wind, by the way, whether the wind got hold of that one or Max was out practising his kicking as always. Fully 30 minutes before the teams came out. Half back in Ghana, as I say, the Tongan played in the NRL with New Zealand Warriors and Canberra before Salford and Lee took him on. He's here at York. Will Jub to commence the tap and the drive from Harvey Reynolds, the second row forward. And instead of being in the uh, York 30 metres own, Trinity having to defend their own. Jovid acting half back. Akuma Tai, now 37 years of age. Another Tongan. 25 metres out, just right of centre. Scruffy at the play of the ball. Jub goes left. Side ball to Thompson, the loose forward. On the 25 metre line, centre field jump to Mr. Go left and brings it back to the right. This is back row forward running right again. Harvey Reynolds is second driving this set of six. And Trinity's defensive wall is right on their own goal line. Jump sends it left, long pass to Thompson. Now it goes left to Hingano, running it. Full back into the line, Brown the dummy. Ian Thornley does well, upper body tackle. Last in this set of six, Trinity still going to have to defend. Ingano had acting half back. Grubber kick into the in goal area. Oh, and the boot from Luke Gale hammers the ball into the Trinity spectators. And there's plenty that's travelled east across to the stadium here in York. But it's a goal line dropper. So pressure on Trinity in the opening few minutes. Jowett with the goal line dropout. Bounces kindly for centre Miles Harrison. The Kuma tie again onto the 30 metre line. Tommy Doyle defending along with uh, Josh Bowden and Kai Rodwell. Thompson again involved. Tennessee defence being tested. They've yet to have hands on ball. 
And side ball to Reynolds. He's involved, isn't he, in these opening exchanges. On the 10-metre line, Jubert acting half-back. Oh, a bit of juggling there from the York players, but uh, managed to hang the ball and Ingano tackle 10 out, short side. Holyfield, it was, he's the son of Trinity's academy coach. Kick from Ingano again, Jarrett's got it covered, manages to get the ball back into the field of play. Pressure on the Trinity line, cleaned up by Max Jarrett. Jack Croft into the team. At the expense of the injured Oli Pratt, of course. Walmsley with the next carry. York defenders moving quickly, three of them. Doyle acting half back. And this is Darrell Olfords. Rodwell. First start as a safe opportunity after two from the bench. Lino will kick on the last. Just bounces away from fullback Joe Brown. Gathered by Connor Bailey, a former Trinity player. It's a few years ago. Good defence, Trinity. Doyle, Ashurst and Rodwell. Short side again, York. Tom Lynham's gone in, played at Wakefield, of course. Inside the York 30, still nil apiece. Short side again with Jubb. Miles Harrison put to ground, 10 metres short of the halfway line. Jubb has looked to his left. Jacob Gannon, season's long loan from, Le from Lee, short of the halfway line. Kick from the halfback, Ingano. Alphonse will gather right on his own goal line. York are moving in quick. Short side with uh, Ian Thornley. And again, York have moved in very quickly indeed. Makes about four metres, does uh, Ian Thornley. Brings it back to the left and Walmsley has gone in a long way from this left wing. Hat-trick scorer in the 1895 group stages, as I said in our intro. The offload from Kosa. Thornley again. Moving it white, Trinity, short of the halfway line. Lino finds Kosa. That's a fine haircut, Matthew Kosa. No, I'm not jealous. Last tackle, shot of the halfway line, Lino to the right. Goes high again. Out on the fall, there's certainly a breeze blowing in that direction. Jai pushes it over the touchline side from the kickoff. Lino from the halfway line, goes out to the touchline side again. So it'll be the turnover inside the Trinity half, nil apiece. Six, just over six minutes on my watch. Touchers marking the spot. Where Hingano will play the ball. Jubert acting halfback. Brings it to the right. Connor Bailey takes the drive. Tom Lynham. Always looks for work. Did in the red, white, and blue of Trinity. Yorker started well. Short side with a Kuma tie. Long pass from Duke to Hingano. Brown in from the fullback position. Good defence in Thornley. Came in on the angle. Josh Griffin was there to us. It's down the blind side again. Another kick from Hingano. Gathered by is it Max Jowett. I think he's taking a knock as Jowett. Gathered the ball again and for the second time in the opening seven and a half minutes. It'll be another Trinity goal line dropout. Fans just rather a weak chant of Wakefield, Wakefield. 
Jiao it okay to take the goal line drop out. On the full, Harrison on his own takes the drive. 30 metres out. 20 in from this near touchline side. Jubbles come down this blind side again with Reynolds. Luke Gale had seen the danger and had moved in on this occasion. Ashurst and uh, Croft assist. Long ball to Akuma Tai, then the short pass into the hands of Field. Short side again. Inside ball to AJ Towes, the winger, and the offload. Playing well at York, still nil apiece though. Dummies to come down the blind side and then goes wide to Thompson. Ankle tap from uh, Tommy Doyle. Short side again. It's York supporters turning the far stand to call their favourites. York, York. Tackled in the in goal area. Referee has stopped the official timekeeper's watches. Can't see any injuries, no. Comes back, of course, onto the 10 metre line. Josh Daly, the halfback, plays the ball. Bit of juggling from Thompson. Thompson's knocked on. Tommy Dial can't get away from a Kumatai, yes he can. First knock on. Took his time to blow the whistle, didn't he? Referee Tom Grant. Bit of a reprieve for Trinity. Luke Gale to feed the scrum. Alfords to the right. It's Darrell Alfords who'll take the first drive. Bell goes down the blind side with Josh Griffin. Rodwell playing at prop forward. Luke Gale, first time he's had hands on ball. Matty Ashurst almost reaches the halfway line. The Trinity skipper. Josh Bowden. Ten metres inside the York half. This is better. Good set of sixes from Trinity. It is the last tackle. Tommy Doyle's look to his left where Luke Gale waits for the ball. Puts it high. That's that one gone out on the fold as well. No, it's not. It's just Wavers and the York wingman. Gathers the ball just inside the touchline side. The ball's gone loose. Walmsley with a try, surely. I thought the referee was going to blow his whistle. What's the touch just doing? He thinks it's a try. He said, he said Walmsley, try how on earth did that ball come loose? Walmsley saw the advantage and sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft. Got to say, against the run of play on the 11th minute, Walmsley with a try. His fifth Betfred Championship try of the season. <laughs> Kick to come, Trinity lead 4 0. In the end, it was a great kick from Lou Gale. And somehow the ball came loose. Wormsley first to react, certainly quicker than the uh, York defenders. Try to score about 10 metres left of the post. Max Jai prepares. Shouldn't be too much of a problem unless the wind gets hold of it. Very precise, Jai. And Jowett does indeed convert the Wormsley try. And Trinity lead York nil, six to Trinity. Sponsored by Beat Autism. And as Max Jowett was preparing the goal kick, just before he ran up, the Trinity fans away to our right. 
were showing their appreciation for Wormsley's try with a good round of applause. And they're coming the numbers again. Travelling well, the Trinity fans. Brown to get the game back underway. Lino reaches, gathers right on the goal line, and Alfitz will bring the ball into the heart of the uh, York defenders with a good 15 metre drive. Penalty Trinity messing about it, they play the ball. Tongan Hingano, the offender. And Luke Gale finds touch. At about 15 metres. Thorn with the tap and the offload. Griffin with the dummy to the left. Running well, Griffin almost to the halfway line. Coates, uh, Gale, Jowett into the line. Jack Croft gives one with the ball immediately. Might be a bit nervous, Jack Croft. Not too much action this season. He's going to take this drive, is Croft here. Onto the 30 metre line, Trinity going to move it surely to the right. Moving it wide, surely. Gale's first receiver sends it back inside to Bowden. What do I know? Tommy Doyle's got the options. Gale to his left. He goes left to Luke Gale. Chip over the defenders again. And it's the wingman. AJ Towers that puts the ball across the dead ball line. Goal line drop out this time for the York Knights. 6-0 Trinity lead. Taken by Max Jowett, and here comes Josh Bowden on the charge. Turns his left shoulder into the tacklers, but the York player stood the ground. Rodwell with the next drive. No, the offload. Coates is wide. Inside the York 20. Doyle brings it back left to, go to Gale. Jowett into the line, cut out pass. Wormsley in at the left corner. Wormsley in at the left corner. Oh, he's injured. He's injured. He scored the try and he makes it 10 0 with a kick to come. But he doesn't look healthy at all, doesn't Lachlan Walmsley. But a great score, a great try. Sixteenth minute on my watch. And another great cut out pass from uh, Max Jowett does that so well. Looks as though it's his left, is it his left hip, or his left knee? Thumbs up from uh, Matt Crow, the Trinity's head physio. The stinger maybe. Looks so, does that, Lachlan? Ten nil. Kick to come, but right from the touchline side. Wombs is going to get a great round of applause. Here we go. As he rejoins his teammates, and Jack prepares for the conversion. Ooh, less than a meter in from this near touchline side. Wowzers, straight between the posts, right from the touchline side, sponsored by Beat Autism. 12-0. Lachlan Walls is sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft here. They're getting the names mentioned a few times this season, aren't they? The tries of Walls are scoring. This is swirling, Lino's going to chase it, Lino's going to leave it to Olfertz, who again comes back at pace.
Referee's going to make him go back a metre to play the ball. Seen the day, Andy, when that had been penalised by moving forward. Thornley puts his hand up and says, I'll take the drive. He's big enough, isn't he? Doyle to the left. Coats are Gale. Here comes Ashurst. Reaches the 30. Short side. No, he's gone back to the right with Bowden. Coats are with the offload to Rodwell. Doesn't quite reach the halfway line on the last tackle. Gale goes long and deep with the uh, the kick and Joe Brown gathers it. The former Bradford Bulls player right on his own goal line and then brings the ball back almost to the 20 and gets bundled back for his effort. Courtesy of the Josh Griffin and Mason Lee no tackle. Tommy Lynham in from his wing. Jump down the short side. No way through for uh, Connor Bailey, the former Trinity man. Short side again. Dummy from Jub. They've reached the 40 of York. Thompson, the loose forward. No nonsense drive almost to the halfway line and on the last tackle. It'll chip through from half back. Ingano. Jowett gathers without any problems. Couple of jinx. No way through, Max. Lino this time had acting half. Alfords is coming from his wing, and here comes Darrell Alfords. Despite the injury, Walmsley's gone in and he's going to take the next drive. That leg must be okay. It was a great finish, wasn't it? We've come to, we've become used to it, haven't we? Coates this time dummies and drives across the halfway line into the uh, York Knights half. Rodwell through the gap. He's got support with Griffin on his... Rodwell's going to go for his first Trinity try. Kai Wadrell underneath the post. Great run from the Australian. First try in the red, white and blue. Trinity have reached 16 with their third try. And a kick to come from underneath the post. Great try, Kai Rodwell. Twenty-first minute on my watch. Great drive, great bursting through the tackle, and then the hint of a dummy was enough to beat Brown, and then diving underneath the post. Well, after all the pressure in the opening ten minutes or so, these guys at the back of the post there are enjoying this, aren't they? Shouts well played, Rodwell. Twenty one and a half minutes on my watch. Still no signs of any of the substitutes. I wonder how nervous Liam Kay is. He's experienced, isn't he? Jowett makes it three from three with the conversion sponsored by Beat Autism and Trinity Lead York. 18 points to nil. Injured his ankle out to have surgery, did Liam Kay just uh, a few weeks into pre season training? another swirling kick but a kind bounce for Darrell Alford who's bringing the ball back again well but this time he opts to go inside who only has to gather the ball at the second attempt a little bit of juggling under the tackle of Akuma Tai and Harvey Reynolds
Gail finds Ashurst. This time there's no way through for the Trinity skipper. Croft doesn't make many metres, if any. Tommy Doyle at acting halfback brings it back to the left. Luke Gale skips past the first defender. Substitute Connor Fitzsimmons, the Cumbrian's on. He makes the tackle. This time it's Leno that puts a low kick to Trinity's left. Brown's well deep and gathers just before in front of his goal line. Good defence, Jack Croft. Assisted by Walmsley. That's good defence on Miles Harrison by Tommy Doyle and Maddie Ashurst. Little skip from Towns, the winger. And line them away from acting half. That was an obstruction, he should have gone to ground. Griffin looks looking for the penalty, I think it was Josh Griffin. Another that makes a few metres after the tackle's been made. Reynolds is stopped on the halfway line. Last tackle, York. Blind side and a kick from Daly. Well, that's a kind bounce for Jowett. Walmsley's looking to offload, but he's decided now to show the dummy and take the drive. I think Walmsley wanted rid of that ball. Alford's in from his wing again. Walms is not 100%, I can tell you that. He's limping back to this wing. Offload from Rodwell. Jow into the line again. Croft gives it to Walmsley. Croft's on his shoulder. Here comes Jack Croft. Runs into trouble. Croft here and then goes into touch. He's taking a knock as well as Jack Croft on his head. I think it's his head. Referee stops the official timekeeper's watches. My watch says 25 minutes. Remember Trinity lead York 18 points to nil. The referee indicates it's a head knock. If Croft has got to go off for a head assessment. It looks as though Griff might have to come into the centre again. And it's Liam Kay can play in the centre. Yes, it's a head assessment for Jack Croft. Isaiah Vangen are getting ready, so I can only imagine that Josh Griffin's going to play in the centre. Don't look too bad, don't uh, Jack Croft. Croft uh, Griffin has come across to this left side, and Vangen comes on. Probably take the place of uh, Griffin, right side of second row forward, and York of uh, centre forward pass. So Trinity leading 18 points to nil. We're in a great position inside the York 20 metre zone. Head and ball, Trinity. Jack Teenby's on for York. Now, I remember that 1895 match when the substitute played really well. Carried the ball heavily into the Trinity defenders. Now, what can Lino do? Inside ball to Ashurst, and then the ball comes to Jowett. Walmsley goes back inside. Don't look happy. He's not happy. But only 18 metres out. This time it's Tommy Doyle again at acting half-back, and here comes Bowden. 
Turns his back to the opposition, five metres out. Now then, Tommy. Now then, Tommy, can we? Brings it to the left. Gale, short ball. Griffin and another try scorer for Trinity. Left hand side of the post. Another player that's on a rich vein of try scoring form. It's Griffin's fourth championship try of the season. Sponsored by M&M &M Engineering. And Trinity lead York by 22 points to nil. With a kick to come. And we've played 28 minutes on my watch. With a little bit of stoppage time. Perfect at the time, short pass for the try. Tunis' his fourth try. Josh Bowden has been replaced by Caleb Uela. No sign of Harvey Smith or Liam Kay. You'd imagine that Harvey Smith, when he comes on, well, he will, won't he? The Academy International Hooker will go into acting half back. Now, whether Tommy Doyle goes to lose forward or goes to the bench, that'll be later in the game, of course. Jowett has lined up the conversion just to the left hand side of the uprights. He's kicked three from three. Make that four from four. Beat Autism's sponsors, Max Joy at the conversion. 24 points to nil. Trinity now lead. Mars Harrison gets the game back underway again. Lino waits, Lino gathers. And Nuela with his first touch drives into the four defenders. Goes to ground eventually. That's a good introduction to the game, isn't it, for Nuela? Dummy from Tommy Doll because I think Kai Rodwell had overrun the, ba run the ball. Again, it's scruffy to play the ball. Van Gana with the next drive. Thornley in from his centre, almost reaches the halfway line. Rodwell, one of Trinity's try scorers. Last tackle, five metres inside the York half. Gale this time will kick Willie, yep, gone high again. Brown weights, Brown gathers. It gets bundled back a few metres towards the 10 metre line. Stay on side, Trinity. Penalty, Trinity have gone offside. I'm going to stop saying those sort of things, Andy. Daly to find touch. Makes about 20 metres for his side, just short of the halfway line. Tap restart for Job. Wood up, took him upside down. It ends up as a good tackle from Coates and Doyle. Was that man Jack Teenby? Lost the ball again of York. Lino's on the halfway line with a set of six to come. Alford's in the middle of the park. Tommy Doyle's looked left now, he's looked right. Goes left with Coates, uh, dummy. It's going to do what Kai Rodwell did, Andy. Second tackle in this set of six. Plenty to come with Luke Gale now. Oh, it was almost intercepted. The referee's got to blow the whistle. It was a clear knock-on from Atta Hingano, the Tongan. 
pass was just a little bit slow to Lino. So from the scrum 30 metres out, heading ball to Trinity, they'll have another set of six inside the York half. Lino's to the left, Thornley to the right. Here comes left to Lino. A jink from Lino, he always lost his foot in. Still going, still jinking. Doyle goes right with Uela. Thompson comes in to make the tackle along with a couple of his colleagues. But Caleb Uela has reached the 10 metre zone. 24 0, remember. Dummy from Tommy Doyle on his own. Not quite, Tommy, not on this occasion. Jowett had acting halfback. Matthew Coulter comes on the drive. Has he scored underneath the post? He has, you know. And a kick to come, and Trinity could reach 30. 28 0 at the minute. It's his fifth try from the big uh, back row forward, Kosa. Jack makes it five from five. Trinity have indeed fit 30. 30 points to nil. Sponsored by Beat Autism. Matthew Kosa, by the way, sponsored by Anson Plywood. Lino's again, I think it is. He reaches, it bounces past him. Olf has got to get back in the field of play, do so. Van Gunnar eventually goes to ground. Oela with the next drive. Long ball missing out Roddle to Gale. Jarrett into the line again. This is Griffin with a shimmy. Loses the ball. Towels in possession. Penalty Wakefield. I don't understand that signal, Tom Grant. Was it stealing the ball with throwing the tackle? That's all it can be for, can't it? When you're down 30 points and only don't want to be giving those penalties away, do you? Gale finds touch. Griffin to tap and they offload and here comes Ashurst. Offload into Rodwell. Carries the ball onto the 30. Doyle goes right with try scorer Coulter and here comes Uela. Uela's into the 20. Good build up again from Trinity. Away from that in half back, Tommy Doyle. Still going. Meter now, who's it acting half back? It's Matthew Coatser. Deep to Lino. Dummies inside. Jow into the line. Got a bit complicated that time. Holford's at acting half back. Fancies a chance on his own, does uh, Darrell Holford? He's inside the 10 meter line. He's still going with his back to the opposition. Now then, Tommy Doyle, that's a better position for you, show and go. 
who finds Rodwell, who finds Gale. Jack with a great pass, and Griffin sends the ball beyond Walmsley, and sadly into touch. It remains 30 points to nil on my watch. We're in the final three minutes of the first 40. There will be a little bit of stoppage time. But York will have possession about 15 metres from their own goal line. Or at the edge of the penalty area if you're watching from that other game. Line with the first drive. No it's way through. Taylor Pemberton's on for Will Jubb for Andy Henderson's side. Pemberton's gone into acting half back. Gale timed that tackle to perfection. And the York player loses a couple of metres. Team B with the drive. Scottish International, the back row forward or front row forward. Pemberton to the right. Offload from Daly. High tackle, referee says, a penalty to York. Gale's not happy, he knows he's done wrong. And Josh Dale is not wasting any time, is he? Finds touch with a good kick. Onto the Trinity 30, so Trinity are going to have to defend. They've not done a lot of that inside their own 20. Tap and go from centre, Harrison. Don't spoil a good half, Trinity by letting York score. Inside the last minute on my watch. Thompson, the offload. 2-1-1. One, one. Lynham, inside pass. Thought I could see Lynham flying for that left-hand corner. Opted to send the pass inside. Great chance for the home side. A five metres out. Ingano looking for the runners. One's Thompson. This is Connor Fitzsimmons. Again, good tackling from Ashurst. Deep pass to Hingano again, short pass on to good defence. Ian Thornley it was. Kick again. Now that the kick throw is a try going to be given, it is, you know. Try York. My watch says we're in stoppage time, but York have breached their uh, zero for once. 30 points to four with a kick to come. The Tonganata Hingano has kicked uh, quite a few into the Trinity in goal area. The others have ended up in a goal line dropout try on this occasion. Bailey, the try scorer, the former Trinity man. Very close to the dead ball line, but he was inside the uh, in goal area. All nice and legal. Miles Harrison is right on the touch line side. This time it's a round of applause for the York players from their spec is in the main stand at the far side. Conversion attempt is perfect. That's another good conversion. We've had some great kicking in the opening 40. Miles Harrison on this occasion makes it six points to York, 30 to Trinity. Half time approaches. So Jowett to get the game back underway with a deep swirling kick, goes towards the posts. Team B with the drive. Ooh, turns his shoulder does uh, Caleb Awela. Makes a legal tackle though. Pemberton with the dummy. He's only slightly built as the uh, substitute hooker.
No way through for Jordan Thompson, courtesy of the Matiasio's tackle. Jack Croft's on back on, by the way. Obviously passed his head assessment. So Van Gunnen has made his way back to the dugout. No, Van Gunn had actually stayed out there. Ball goes to ground, then it's retrieved. Half time, who to go? Trinity will make their way into their uh, half time chat from coach Darrell Powell with a, a good first half, spoilt by that trying the stoppage time. It was all York in the opening 10 minutes, pressure on the Trinity line and a couple of goal line dropouts. Trinity's defence held good and then scored five converted tries. Two from Lachlan Wormsley, Kai Roddell, an individual effort. Josh Griffin and Matt Coulter, the other two try scorers. As I say, five goals from Max Jowett. And then the try from Connor Bailey from the kick. And the great conversion from Miles Harrison. Half time here at the LNER Stadium. Sees it uh, York Knights 6, Trinity 30. to make the, the way from the uh, changing rooms for the second half. Leading here the LNER Stadium by 30 points to six. Five converted first half tries. And the York try just before the half-time hooter just to spoil it a little bit. Here come York. Just a reminder that next Sunday, week today, Going to the Foxes Biscuit Stadium. Some of you will remember it as Mount Pleasant Batley. And the week after, we're at home to Toulouse. Second half underway. Liam Kay doing a little bit of warming up and stretching on the far side. First game of the season when he comes on for Liam. Trying to get the first touch of the ball in the second half. Caleb Uela, first half substitutes with the, the next drive. Looking for his first championship try of the season. Tommy Dowell still out there. Kai Rodwell still out there. Matthew Coatser has been substituted. He went off when uh, Jack Croft came back on from the head assessment bin. Doyle with the dummy and crossing the halfway line. Good set of sixes from Trinity. Jow it to the right with Uela and the offload this time to Lino. Griffin pokes his nose through a gap on the last tackle. Short side with Lino. Goes high and not too deep. Taken by Joe Brown, the fullback. Doyle defends along with Rodwell for Trinity. Pemberton had acting half back for Andy Anderson's side. Lynham's turn to drive. Some booing from the Trinity fans. That's unfair. He tried his best. Pemberton sends a long pass to the, the right and a long left footed kick from Hingano. Taken well by Jowett. Comes right and then jinks off his right leg down back down that far touchline side. Falls to the tackle of Reynolds. Jack Croft, no way through for the centre. On the 40 metre line. Gaylord acting half back this time. 
Alfords again, he's always happy to go in and look for the ball, isn't he? Darrell Alfords. Rodwell with the inside ball to Uela. Vanganar's running wide and they offload in the tackle. Doyle and they offload. Great offload to Gale. Dummy from Luke Gale. Oh, that's not the best pass. Uela will drop on the ball. Gets back to his feet. Gale. Little chip over. Into the far corner. Bounces once and into touch. So it'll be possession to York, trailing six points to 30. Ten metres from their own goal line, York. Thornley, oh, the ball's come out in the tackle. Thornton, so we're going to get possession. Griffin and Thornley, when well, you've got Griffin and Thornley tackling you, you're apt to lose the ball, aren't you? Two big men. Thompson with the next drive. Gale wanting some defenders to go his way over the far left hand side. Pemberton goes that way. Forward pass, says the referee, Tom Grant. This will be a heading ball, Trinity. Just 20 metres from the York line, leading 30 points to six, remember. Trinity fans packed in the stand to our right. They'll be wanting some tries in the second half. Gale to feed the scrum. Tommy Doyle at the base. Lino to his right. Jai waiting to join the line on his outside. Here comes Lino. It's Griffin who gets the ball. Beats the first defender. Pokes his news through the gap. Lino gathers. Lost a couple of metres. Courtesy of the defensive tackle from Hingano, the halfback. Jai Vangana, whose head went backwards in the tackle. 15 metres out. Tommy Doyle comes right. With Lino, the jink from Lino. Can't get away from the tackle from Jacob Gannon. But we're only 11 metres out. Tommy Doyle brings it back to the right again with Griffin, who's already scored one. Can he get loose? Can he get the ball down? He's short of the line, is Griff. He's lost the ball, has Griffin. In the effort of scoring, the ball goes loose. So 30 points to six, he remains. Five minutes on my watch in the second half. And this time, of course, it's heading ball to York. And this time it's Hingano to feed. Lynham's to the right, he looks ready, there he comes. Oh, and the Trinity fans have spotted that one again. Oh, they can be cruel. No way through for Bailey. Trinity's clean defence, keeping York inside their own 20. This is Reynolds. But again, the Trinity defenders are keen to bundle him back towards his own goal line. Thompson through the gap, still going, Griffin hangs on. Great run from the, the loose forward. Jordan Thompson, veteran. Ingano kicks again deep. I think that might be a 40-20, you know. Which means York will have possession, it is. That's a great kick from the Tonga. So Trinity turn attack into defence and they're going to have to defend. Pemberton with the restart with the tap. Drive from Teamby. No nonsense drive to within four metres. Set restart for York. Longsley come in from his wing. Can Croft pick this up? Nobody can make the tackle, surely.
AJ Towns, the winger. Will play the ball 10 metres in from the far touchline side and inside the Trinity 30. Reynolds with the drive. He's putting the work as uh, the centre. He's taking play inside the uh, Trinity 20. Switching the direction of play, York. Big hit from Coleb, uh, Caleb Uela. Legal says the referee. Half back Daly. Trying to jink his way through, no way through. But Trinity soak up more pressure. Hingano, the half back. Kick again. Jowett's got it covered, has he? Goal line dropout, is it? It is, that's another, they've had a few. Max has taken a knock. I think he might be complaining the ball was over the dead ball line. It's going to be a goal line dropout, Max, the referee's decided. But he doesn't look happy, does he? Goes deep, in fact, he's gone across the halfway line. That's a great dropout from Jowett. Teamby returns the ball back across the halfway line. Griffin turns his right shoulder into the tackle with the assistance of Lino and Caleb Uela. Thompson on the angled run from the pass from Josh Daly, the half bar. Drive from Fishman's. Long ball in Ghana. Kick again. Was it an obstruction? Oh, it's going to be on the uh, reaching arms of Gannon. And uh, is it Max Jai that's cleaned up? The York fans want a penalty for an obstruction, but there's a knock on other play of the ball, according to referee Tom Grant. In fact, he says it's a goal line dropout, is it? It is. One of the Trinity players must have grounded it in the in-goal area. Goal line dropout. Second in as many minutes. <coughs> well, the last one from Jack breached the halfway line by a good five or six metres. Here we go. Not quite as far this time. Taken by Hingano, and here comes Team B again. And again, Griffin turns his right shoulder into the tackle. And again, Mesolino's there, so is Caleb Oela. Deja vu. Running it right with half back Daly. Still no sign of Liam K. or Harvey Smith, the Trinity Sioux subs who have not been used. Thompson, dummy. Josh Bowden back on for Kai Rodwell. He's had a good sling test, Kai Rodwell. Ball's gone to ground. Curtis in a good tackle from Gale and Maddie Ashurst and Trinity are in possession, albeit on their own 10 metre line. Right, who's going to take it away? Jack Croft is. Makes 10 metres, loses five. Harvey Smith ready as Wormsley goes into the heart of the spirited defence from the uh, York Knights. Tommy Doyle being replaced by Harvey Smith. Darrell Olfitz again almost reaches the 30 metre line, but this is hard work from Trinity having to do the hard metres. Uela, head goes back in the tackle again. And he loses the ball, York in possession. There was a knock on, says the referee, head and ball York, surely. Good stints from Rodwell and Doyle, but now being rested. Taking the time to uh, form this scrum. 
He's given head and ball to Trinity. First touch for Alvis Smith at the base of the scrum. Here comes Ian Thornley. Big run from the centre. Oh, he's lost the ball. Penalty, two in at the tackle. Luke Gay will find touch. Make sure about 15 metres. So come on, Trinity. We've played 12 and a half minutes on my watch. We've not scored in this half. Thornley with the tap. Griffin with the. I thought he was going to offload, but he drives. And Harvey Smith, little Harvey Smith, I've got to say that. England Academy International hooker in at acting halfback. Goes left with Bowden, who's back on the field, as I said. Right, come on, Trinity. Smith. Brings it back to the right. Lino, he's got Jai on his shoulder. And that's a high tackle. Referee allows player gone. In Gano, it was who tackled Max Jai. Around the back of the neck. Referee stops the official timekeeper's watchers. And on comes Wakefield physio, Matt Crowther. <coughs> Looked a clumsy tackle, didn't it? And Josh Griffin is sat on the grass. How long will before we see Liam Kay? Thumbs up from uh, Matt Crowther. And a little bit of Freddie Mercury and Queen in the background. Max Joy to play the ball 10 metres from the whole line and from the York line. Hull from the York line and about 15 in from this near touch line side here comes Mason Lino Vangana with the drive one of the York players went low Vangana sends the ball backwards and Trinity have lost ground Croft can't get past the tackle of Connor Fitzsimmons Smith goes short side with Gale Matty Ashurst, the York players want the York speckies want a forward pass. Last tackle. Gill goes back to the left for uh, Walmsley. Was it a York knock on? It's gone into touch anyway. Not as crisp as we were in the first half, Andy, and we played almost 15 minutes of the second. So York's turn to bring the ball off their own goal line. That's good defence, Trinity with Griffin, Wangener and Bowden. Tom Lyon and McGember, the three keen Trinity defenders in there, bundling him back towards his own goal line, well inside their own 10 metre line. Thompson has to reach, but gathers. This time it's Galen Ashurst that defend. Pemberton with a posto hang, the halfback in Gano kicks deep. Walmsley gathers 30 metres from his own goal line. Carried towards the touchline side but goes to ground eventually in the field of play. Jack Croft with the next drive. Mason Lino finds out Darrell Alfords. Josh Bowden with the next drive onto the halfway line. And across it by about five metres. Nice drive from Josh Bowden. Gail Jowett into the line. Dummy from Max Jowett. Oh, ankle tapped. Up and off again. He's still going, is Max Jowett. Put to ground eventually, 10 metres out on the last tackle. Bring it right, run it right, run it. Oh, he's gone left at Smith. A chip and chase from Harvey Smith. It's too deep. Hey, you're leading 30 points to six. Why wouldn't you have a little, a little tap and drive? 
unfortunately for Harvey Smith, it just didn't come off, did it? Tap restart, centre of the 20 for York. Seven tackle restart, by the way. Tom Lynham. Akuma Tai is ready to come back on for uh, Andy Henderson's sign. So no sign of Liam Kay. Short side with half-back Daly. Crosses the halfway line. Jack Teamby is being replaced by Akuma Tai. And here comes Akuma Tai. 37 years of age. Pemberton away from out in half, but by 10 metres or more. Nice little scoot and a quick play of the ball. Thompson's doing big minutes. Quick hands, line them. Doesn't put his foot in touch. It's play on. Griffin, Lino and Ian Thorne goes low. Last tackle now, 25, 20 metres out. Pemberton at acting half, like he comes down the short side with Brown the kick. Gathered well in perfect position, Max Jowett, and that's a high tackle. That's his second in as many minutes on Max Jowett. No intent, just clumsy. We played 18 minutes or more in the second half, we haven't scored in this half. Liam Kay's on, pink boots and all. Caleb Oela has been replaced. Alford's with the drive onto the halfway line. Welcome back, Liam. Lino, here comes Liam Kay with his first touch. Crosses the halfway line, he'll have enjoyed that little drive. And a quick play of the ball. Smith away from acting half back. Shows a dummy, Thompson's not. He's far too experienced to take that, Harvey. Long pass from Lino to Kay. Off road to Gale. Jowett into the line. Great play from Jowett and Croft. Wormsley for the far corner. Into touch. Cover tackle from Joe Brown and a good cover tackle. A good play from Jowett and Croft. And Wormsley, he's hurt again, isn't he? Yeah, Wormsley not happy at all, is he? Looks rather uncomfortable, does Lachlan Walmsley. Struggled after being injured from his second try, in the act of scoring that second try. Looks to be his hip. Luke Gale has drifted out for the moment onto that left wing. Meanwhile, York restart with a play of the ball in the centre of the field, about 15 minutes from their own goal line. And Trinity to go offside. Worms is getting back onto his wing and back into an onside position, but very gingerly indeed. Will Jobs back on? Here comes a coma tie. Little Harvey Smith hanging on. And Liam Kay with his first tackle of the game. Thompson. Short pass to the hands of. Uh, Jump back down the blind side with Gannon. His dad played at Halifax, of course, Jim Gannon. Five out from the Trinity line, they're going to have to defend. Watch, jump, watch for Jub show and go. Thompson, a dummy, who is short of the line by about half a metre. Good defence from Harvey Smith. Kick again, it is the Trinity player, the Trinity player played at that. Is it a knock on? Yeah, referee signalled a knock on, but who's knocked on?
He's not indicated yet, has he? Head and ball, Trinity. York knock on. Ten metres from the Trinity line, Gale feeds us comes. Smith takes it to the left of Jack Croft. York defenders come storming in. Alfred has carried the ball all afternoon, hasn't he? Don't make many metres on this occasion. Van Gena with the next drive. Across the 30 metre line, centre field. Those passes from Harvey Smith are so flat the opposition think the forward passes. Referee doesn't know, does he? Lino's running it with Griffin. Last tackle, Trinity shot at the halfway line. Lino first receiver. Charged down by a Kuma tie. This, this might just be play on. Jowett gathers the ball. Back to one, Trinity in possession on their own 30 metre line. Lino with pace and the skip. Kai Rodwell back on for Isaiah Vangana. Short side with Maddie Ashurst. Almost onto the 30, still leading. 30 points to 6, 24 minutes played in the second half. Still waiting another try in the second half. Couple of jinks from Luke Gale through the gap. Last tackle, 22 metres out, short side. With Lino. Jow into the line. Croft finds Wormsley. Wormsley hard trick. Wormsley's fit enough to score his second hard trick in three weeks. And his third, of course, of the season because he scored a hard trick here in the 1895 group stage match. Sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft. Another hat trick from Wormsley. 34 0 kick to come. But we've had to wait for the 25th minute for that one in the second half. But again, into the line from Max Jide. But Jack Croft did well, took the ball and gave it all in one movement. And Wormsley takes the corner flag down. We've seen him do that a few times this season, haven't we? 34 points to six. Max Joy kicked five from five in the first half. Can I make it six from six with a difficult one right from the touchline side? We've seen him kick these this season, haven't we? Sixth drive of the afternoon for Trinity. Kicking towards the Trinity fans, they'll probably tell us if this is going over before the touch judges have indicated. Here comes a conversion attempt. The Trinity fans are quiet. Just to the left hand side of the uprights. So I've said it before, Max Jai is only human. He's missed one. Remains 34 points to six. Miles with Harrison to get the second half, to get the game back underway. Lino gathers, here comes Kai Rodwell, fresh from the dugout. Half 
Jeremy Smith at acting half back. Here comes Liam Kay with the offload. Josh Bowden wide. Luke Gay wants Liam Kay to go down that left hand side. This is Maddie Ashurst. Liam Kay again. Spins in the tackle. Look at them boats. Aren't them boats smashing? Pink boats. What's the goal coming to? Gay looking for the runners, Lino. Griffin through the gap. He's got support on his left shoulder with Luke Gale. He's got Matt Stroyd on his right. Gale's going to get going underneath the post. Great try, Luke Gale. Another Trinity player in a rich vein of form. Try scoring form. Look at Gale. He's enjoying that one, isn't he? Griffin did so well to break the tackle. Support on either side. Joy on his right. Luke Gale on the left, sponsored by Lauren Fleming, his fourth championship try of the season. Kick to come, Trinity could hit 40, it's 38 points to six. Two tries in three minutes. Hey, and Luke Gale showed a clean pair of heels. Trinity, the Trinity fans will go, will go home a little bit happier now they've seen a couple of times and more to come hopefully. Josh Griffin takes some pulling down doesn't he? Sponsored by Beat Autism, Max Jarrett makes the conversion good. Trinity have it 40, 40 points to 6. 12 minutes remaining on my watch, time to score more. Game back underway, there should be Mason Linos, although it's swirling. Here comes Guy Rodwell, settling in nicely in the red, white and blue with the Australian. Josh Bowden loses the ball. Penalty, ball stolen. Oh no, offside. That's over-enthusiasm by a side that's trailing by 40 points to six. And Gale finds touch. Five metres short of the halfway line. Tap and go from Ian Thornley. Good carry from the centre. Alfords this time at Acton half and a long pass to Lino. Rodwell turns his right, shoulder in the tackle of Akuma Tai. Jub went low. Harvey Smith at Acton half back. Liam Kay with the dummy and then the offload, running it again, Croft, dummies and then goes back inside, Croft through the gap, support from Jowie, Jowie's got pace this time, just to the left hand side of the post, brilliant team play, Liam Kay's enjoyed that, he takes a piggyback from try scorer Max Jowie, sponsored as you all know by Beat Autism, Max's second championship try of the season, 44 points to 6, tries coming thick and fast now, 8th of the match, 3rd in 6 minutes. Jack Croft did well, he saw the gap, he went through the gap and he got a support on his right shoulder. This is better. 
25 minutes before we saw the first try in the second half. And now we've seen three in six minutes. Max Jarrett's ready, he takes his time, but hey, I'll tell you what, it's almost perfect, isn't it? Converts the try, sponsored by Beat Autism, converts his own try, 46 points to 6. The coaching staff look happy, do they? Should be, shouldn't they? I'm not so sure, Daryl. <laughs> it's all a matter of fact, isn't it, for Trinity's, Trinity's head coach? 46 points to 6. Reynolds again. Oh, this time it's a low and hard restart. Something different. Bounces kind for Josh Griffin, one of Trinity's first half try scorers. The two defenders, Hingano and Bailey. Berel Alford's not, not this afternoon one of Trinity's try scorers. Harvey Smith at acting half back. Josh Bowden turns his shoulder into the tackle, almost up to the halfway line. Matthew Coates is back on the field. Griffin through the gap again, he's got Jowett on his left shoulder. Overhead pass to Alford, can Alford finish? Beats one. Can't beat the second defender with a bit of shirt pulling. Liam Kay first receiver. Looking for the runners, oh that's not the best of passes, bounces kindly for Lino. And Reynolds is coming on the angle on the last tackle to make that tackle. Short side from Harvey Smith, Jowett with the kick. Holmes is looking for his fourth, taken well by Brown at the back. Oh, look at that, you're leading 46 points to six and you're driving in and driving the opposition back towards their own goal line. Referee stop the official timekeeper's watchers. Luke Gale's taking a head knock, I think. Tom Lynham. No, oh, they love him with them Trinity fans, do they? listen to him. Referee has now stopped the official timekeeper's watchers again because... Luke Gale is receiving treatment for a head knock. Head assessment says head physio Matt uh, Crowther. We lost Liam Hood this week, of course, because of the head knock last week at Doncaster. Tommy Doyle back on. That means Harvey Smith goes to half back, maybe. York in possession, trailing six points to 46, and there are six minutes on my watch remaining. Thompson inside ball. Rowan Michael. One of the York substitutes. Jumps pointed down the short side, but he's going to go right with a Kuma tie offloads. In Garner, oh, the ball's gone to ground. Had to reach, it didn't reach it. Ball went to ground, it'll be heading ball Trinity out the scrum. Time for another one, surely. In fact, it's the turnover. Kai Roddle to play the ball. Harvey Smith is acting halfback. First receiver is Tommy Doyle. Smith comes right with Lino. Inside ball. No, it's the dummy jout into the line. 
Another dummy from Max Jack, but the York defenders weren't taking that one. 12 metres out. Thornley had acting half back. Lino looking for the runners, one of which is Josh Bowden. 10 out, back to the opposition. Back to the Trinity fans. Griffin run round with Harvey Smith. That's a bit high, but Smith's still going. A couple of metres out, for little hooker. Griffin this time at Acton half back. A long ball Lino has to reach. K did well. Walmsley, four is it? Four it is, you know. What a finisher that man is. Leading try scorer in the championship for Halifax last season and astute by for Trinity. Is he going to be the leading try scorer in the championship this season? Sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft. Trinity have hit 50. Wormsley scored his fourth. And the ninth of the afternoon. Try Liam Kay involved. And on my watch, three minutes remaining. Thanks again for joining Andy and myself TC and remember we'll be at Batley next weekend. Hope you'll be able to join us. And again, another difficult kick for Max Jai. I wonder if he learned anything from the last one from there. Push it wide again. He's missed two. Approaching stoppage time on my watch. Reynolds goes short this time. Should be Thornley's. Tipped back by Joe Brown. York in possession for the final couple of minutes. My watch says we're in stoppage time. There are a couple of minutes stoppage time. Right, you've got to defend now, Trinity. Connor Bailey with the drive to York's try scoring that first half, of course. Jubbard acting half back. Thompson, the first receiver. Kulmatai comes through as the dummy runner. Running it. AJ Towers on the far wing. Comes inside. Tackled by uh, K, Liam Kay. He's had a good quarter of an hour as Liam Kay. Dummy from Thompson. You've just got his lost the ball. He's had the ball stolen one on one. Oh my word. Trailing 50 points to six. And he loses the ball in the opponent's 20. Lino, is it time for another one? Thornley thinks so, does he? Bursting through the tackle, eventually pulled to ground by Bailey. Alford crosses the 30 metre line. Bowden with the next drive. Atta Ingano has been announced as York's man of the match. Meanwhile, Jouts into the line again. Thornley gets the pass to Walford. Very close to this touchline side. Too close to the touchline side. Well into stoppage time now, the teams will go to scrum centre field. Oh, it'll be the turnover, it'll be the turnover, won't it?
Coates and Doyle, a couple of the Trinity defenders, and little Harvey Smith, the third one, jumping out in half back. A Coma Tide crosses the halfway line. Thompson keeps going, doesn't he? Offload to man of the match in Garno. That's the York man of the match. Jump on his own. Chip through from Ingarn off the outside of the boat. Cleaned up by the ever the ever reliable Max Jowett. Liam Kay with a drive back into the side after that ankle injury and ankle surgery, of course. Lino away from acting half back. Finds Josh Griffin. Felt that, did Griffin? Final hooter goes, I'm sure it has. Well, that was a weak hooter. Referee Tom Grant blows his whistle. Another very professional team performance from Trinity, who will add out the break by 30 points to six with five converted tries. But then we to wait to the 25th minute of the second half before Lachlan Wormsley completed his hat trick. There was no goal from Max Jowett. Luke Gale supported the players, went to the side of the post. Jowett gold. Then Max Jowett supported a break from Jack Croft. Jowett gold again. And then Trinity hit 50 when Lachlan Walsley latched on after Liam Kay had created a gap, scored his fourth try in the far left hand corner. Max Jowett couldn't go, but Trinity have come away with their fourth championship win of the season. The winning run continues for Daryl Powell's side. Battley next week. Please join Andy and myself, TC. Thanks for being with us here at the LNER Stadium, where it's finished. York Night 6, Trinity 50. <laughs>